The rotary evaporator, or Rotavap, is used to remove organic solvents from solutions that are in a round bottom flask. Make sure, before you use the Rotavapor, that your round bottom flask is less than half full and that the vacuum pump is on. Now we are turning the pump off for video purposes. The Rotavapor has three main controls. A rotation control knob, an up and down switch, and the vacuum vent valve. The valve opens the whole system to the atmosphere when it's pointing up. There's an open barb here that connects to the atmosphere. When you point the valve down, the whole system is connected through this vacuum tube to the vacuum pump. So the whole system is under vacuum. So to put your flask to the rotavapor, you couple the glass joint and you secure it with a keck clip. The keck clip has two sides, a small side and a large side. You want to straddle the joint and the small side goes on the small neck, the large side goes on the large neck. Then you connect the system to the vacuum, turn it down, pointing towards the vacuum hose, immediately start the rotation. And for small flasks, the rotation can be fairly brisk, half to three quarters of the speed. And then you lower your flask in the water bath. When the rotor vapor is working correctly, you should see your solvent dripping down the cold finger into the reservoir. When there is no liquid left in your round bottom flask, and you can stop the rotation to check that, you lift your flask out of the water bath, you vent the system and you want to hear it hissing. Then you remove the cake clip and remove your flask. You can leave the rota vapor as it is for the next user. After you have removed all the solvent from your solution, the round bottom flask might look empty. It's not. If you have a liquid compound, you might have just a drop in here, which is spread around the whole wall. So you don't really see it, even if it's in there. What you collect here is the solvent that is waste. <laughs>